hi everyone and welcome back to upside on disney if you're new here my name is jess and today i have part two of my spooky season haul um this might be like part two of like who knows how many parts because there's definitely going to be more stuff that i purchase um for halloween this year um but i figured that i would just show some of the things that i have accumulated in the last about month since i uh filmed the last haul so first thing we are going to start off with is something from Spirit Halloween that is not Disney or fandom related whatsoever, um, but it is going to be a part of something that I have as part of a Disney decoration, if that makes sense. So they are these little zombie hand lawn stakes. Um, so I am totally going to stick these in the ground um i have also from spirit halloween that i will insert a video clip of a tombstone of billy butcherson from hocus pocus and then i also have a beetlejuice one that i purchased um they were each about like 30 dollars, and then they were buy one get one half off from spirit halloween so i paid like 15 for one um which was a super good deal um and i ordered them online and it was free shipping over 35 so it was super awesome a super awesome deal and they are super cute decorations and so I got these little zombie hands that I'm going to stick in the lawn um, in front of the Billy tombstone to make it look like he is like rising out of his grave. So I am super excited. These were $10 from Spirit Halloween, $9.99, $10. Um, so yeah, super reasonable. Um, and they're like super well like made too. So yeah, I'm super excited about them. And I think it's gonna look super cute and fun. I was kind of hoping to be able to find like a whole set of like like zombie legs to kind of stick in there so it looked like they were coming out um and I'm gonna try to see if maybe anywhere online they have like Beetlejuice looking arms and legs that I could stick out of the ground to to put in front of the Beetlejuice grave but we'll see what I can find but yeah super excited about those that are gonna go in front of the Billy Butcherson tombstone. Next up I bought some things at Target. Again not any kind of Disney or fandom related, but I got these two little adorable skulls. They are just like velvet and one is purple and one is black. Um, they kind of remind me of one of the skeletons from Corpse Brine, which is why I picked them up. Um, and they were like $5 each. You can see there, it says on the sticker that they were $5. Um, and yeah, so they're just tiny little skulls that will be super cute to use as decoration around my house. And then moving on to something Disney related, I got the Villainous Dr. Facilier puzzle. I'm kind of considering this Halloween since it is a villain puzzle. Um, but yeah, I've been super obsessed with puzzles, as I mentioned, like a million times. So this is just a thousand piece puzzle. And I love that it's just like different portraits featuring different scenes from Princess and the Frog. And then each one, so they're supposed to go with the Villainous board game. So each one comes with a game piece for the Villainous game. I kind of just ignore the fact that they're supposed to be for the game and use the game pieces as display pieces. So super excited about this. Um, and I believe this puzzle was like $25 maybe. Um, but they are Ravensburger puzzles. So they are super well-made puzzles and super worth whatever the price is. Next two items are two Funko Pops. Um, so they are from the Haunted Mansion collection. So the first one here is the Maid. Um, so here's the box. The side just has a picture of her with the wallpaper print in blue behind her. I like the blue take on the wallpaper print instead of the purple. I just think it's a little bit uh, more unique than some things that you see. Um, so I love that they went with that for the packaging. The back shows the other pops from this collection. So the ones that are coming out this year are the maid, Constance from the stretching room portrait, and then um, what is his name? Alexander Nitrikoff. Um, again, he's the stretching room portrait with the like TNT, like dynamite um, underneath him. And then there are chaser versions of each of these that show the bottom half of the portraits. So hopefully I can find the chasers somewhere and be able to have them because I think that that is a super cool um, chase variant to do. Um, especially like for the stretching portraits, I think that that's probably like the coolest thing that they could have done where like one is a pop of just this and then the other is the pop of the whole portrait. So yeah, super excited about that. Um, and I will be taking her out of the box. I believe pops at Target are like $9 or $10. 
So taking her out of the plastic, she does come with a little stand here. Always check when you open Funko Pops for a little stand in the bottom of the box. I know some people have mentioned that they like accidentally almost throw them out a couple of times. Um, but yeah, so she has a little stand to put her on. And then there she is. She has the little um, mirror in her hands. And then she says the adorable little maid's outfit with the green stripe details. And then her little bonnet thing. And I love the detail of... She is not very steady on her stand here. And then the details of her hair are super cute. See, super excited to add her to my Hot Mansion pop collection. And then the second one that I was able to get was Constance Hatchaway. So just the standard version, the common, not be chase, unfortunately. Um, but she is super cute. So here's the side of the box. And then again, the back showing the other pops and then taking her out of the box. So she does not come on a stand, but because she has like the flat bottom here, but I hope that she's able to stand and not be too top heavy because of the way that she's like sitting on top of the stone here. But I love the little like birthmark detail there, the adorable little earrings and she's holding the rose. And then there she is from behind, the little like sweater draped over the dress detail. She's super cute and I hope that I'm able to get the Chase variant so that I can have both of them. Okay, and then moving on to box lunch items. So first thing that I got, first thing is this adorable Coraline pin. So it just is Coraline with the little jumping mouse and some popcorn. I think that's the jumping mouse. Yeah, it's definitely one of the jumping mice. Um, and yes, there's just an adorable little enamel pin there. This was $8.90 at Box Lunch. And I don't have, I think this might actually be my first Coraline pin, but I saw it and just had to pick it up. I love that they started coming out with merch for Coraline. Um, this is a lounge fly pin as well. Um, I love that they've started coming out with a lot of merch for Coraline. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time so super glad to get this and i get like it's one of those things it's not just a spooky season thing for me i love Coraline all the time but i picked it up specifically with spooky season in mind next thing i got from box lunch is this adorable coco shirt so the front here just says remember me uh, across the little like chest pocket area and then the back says sees your moment in the land of the dead and features i guess this is supposed to be hector because he has a little guitar and it's so cute i love the bright vibrant colors and the little skull details um and i guess these are supposed to be like little olive haze um so yeah this is just super cute and i absolutely love coco it's one of my favorite pixar movies and i thought it was perfect for the halloween season because of the whole dia, dia de los muertos theme of coco so yeah, super excited about that shirt. This was $28.90 at uh, Box Lunch. Next up from Box Lunch are two Funko Pops. These are two Nightmare Before Christmas Pops, um, and I ordered them online. You might see these again as part of a Box Lunch haul, but yeah, so these boxes got super duper crushed, unfortunately, in transit, um, which I'm super mad about. Like, you can see this is literally, like, so ripped. My The Box Lunch when I got the box delivered, I was like, okay, it's super crushed. I was super annoyed. But then as I was opening it, I remembered that I had ordered these Funko Pops with everything. And so then I was super just pissed off because I'm like, I, I knew that the boxes were going to be crushed, um, but they were super crushed. So the one that we have here is Jack Skellington. I love this pose. Um, this is just a super unique Jack Pop as opposed to like the other ones, there's like three other like main poses that you see Jack Skellington pops in. So I'm glad to get this one, which is a little different. And this is definitely one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie, but yeah, super cool. And then again, on the back here, it just has the different pops from the collection. Um, so I've already shown you Sally and the mayor. And then here he is out of the box. You can see all of the details here of like his little teeth, how they're like all yellow and just like 
kind of gross looking um and he just looks super angry and then he has his suit with the little bat bow tie and just the stripe details all down the suit and the little like ripped um coattails there super cute pop super love the details on him and then next up we have the one that from the series other than the mayor that i was the most excited for which is sandy claus um so this is only the second sandy claus pop ever in existence which i'm super excited about and again you can just see how just dreadfully crushed this box got um these were each 10.90 from box launch and again the rest of the collection on the back so the only one now that i'm missing is this big 10 inch jack and technically if you count the chase for the mayor i'm missing that one as well so here he is out of the box he just has all along halloween candy stuck in his beard and he looks super scared and i love that it's him without the hat because jack steals his hat to wear for his own christmas and then here he is from the back just very simple i love the, the details over there's even like where it looks like he has like the little crow's feet there and they like nailed his scared expression perfectly. So yeah, super love this pop. I'm super excited to have another Sandy Claus pop to add to my Nightmare Pop collection. And next up is an item from Hot Topic. Um, and it is this adorable Jack Skellington pumpkin, like Jack o Lantern light up thing. <laughs> um, he is super cute. So when you turn him on, he just lights up. And I don't know if this is meant for inside or outside use. So I have no idea if he's for indoor or outdoor use. I'm probably going to end up finding a space inside of my house to put him. But it is just three little Jack Skellington jack-o'-lanterns stacked on top of each other with different expressions. So this one looks kind of like curious. Um, this one looks kind of like a little like devious smile. This one's actually kind of more like an evil smirk than this one's like a curious kind of expression but yeah he is super cute this was 25 dollars from hot topic and last are some shop disney slash disney parks slash disney store items so first off i guess i will start with my ears that i am wearing so these are the haunted mansion ears I believe these were released new this year, um, but so they are the wallpaper print. Um, and I love that the um, wallpaper design is like a velvet print on top of this little like satin fabric, purple fabric here. And then you have a black velvet bow with a little Haunted Mansion logo um, embellishment on the bow there. And then the headband just has the same pattern as the ears. And then on the inside of the headband is a velvet material here and the reason I ended up picking these up is because they say a ghost will follow you home on the inside of the headband which I thought was so cute and these ears were $29.99 again gotta hide the CVS receipt tag on there I don't know why shop Disney ears recently have had like giant tags I should probably cut that off at some point um, I also got this adorable Coco Wishable. So this is the open edition one, which was Pepita, which is Mama Email does a la Brihe. Um, so I also got two mystery bags that I opened already. And I got uh, Hector and um, I got Hector and Ernesto de la Cruz. Um, hopefully I get more mystery bags of these. Hopefully they put them back up on Shop Disney or I'm able to get a park pickup. And um, I can do an unboxing of them on the channel, but here is Pepita. She was $9.99 and I was able to pick her up at uh, my local Disney store. So she is super cute. I love all the colors, the details on her. And again, she's super soft and squishy, like all wishables. And she has little rosy cheeks and the stars in her eyes. Next are some park pickups. So I got the halloween pin um the like candy castle pin which i super wanted um so i was able to get a park pickup from francis from the disney kitty king disney kitty pin group um she also has a youtube channel of her own um which is called fantastic pins and that is also her instagram handle so i'll leave her link down below to check her out um she's super fun and super sweet so you should check her out but she did a pickup for me she got me these and also the wishable pins which there will be an unboxing of those either posted before this or posted sometime after this video so stay tuned to the channel for that 
Um, but yeah, I love this little candy castle, little candy corn and lollipops. I believe this one was $9.99. And on the backing here, you just have the Mickey waffling and the pin trading logo and the Mickey pin back. And then I also got these two Halloween Mickey and Minnie jack-o'-lantern pins. I love Mickey and Minnie icon pins and I love Halloween. So these were literally perfect <laughs> for me. So I knew that I had to get my hands on them. I love that the mini boat is like a little candy corn um, and they're just cute little jack-o'-lanterns. So these were $15.99 because it is a set of two pins. And then the backs of each one are just basically the same with the pin trading logos and everything in the Mickey waffling. And then each pin has one pin post and one pin back. This next item I am super excited about. I definitely did not think that I would be one of those people <laughs> that collects these, but this one came out and I thought it was just super adorable and cool. So um, I had to get my hands on it. So I was able to have a park pickup for this and it is the Madame Leota Sipper. So there is a button underneath her that if you press it, she lights up. And I love the way that she glows and it kind of changes color. It basically just changes between a couple of different shades of like blue and purple, um, but it is so pretty. And then if you press the top, she opens up and then there's the little sipper straw. Um, I might use this to drink out of during the Halloween season, but if not, it is definitely going to be a decoration um, and possibly something that's part of my Haunted Mansion display all year around. Um, it just says Disney Parks on the sides there. And yeah, she is super cool. I love this so much. Um, I am honestly not sure how much it was because I did not have the park pickup done. My partner did, so they would know, but I I'll try to find out before posting this video and leave down in the description below how much this zipper cost. But I know that there was literally like lines for days in Magic Kingdom to try to get these. Um, so I'm super fortunate that I was able to get my hands on one. Up next is something else that I'm super excited about and it is this Haunted Mansion ornament set. Um, so these are each of these stretching portrait like characters or well, three of the stretching portrait characters, I think, and then the groundskeeper. Yeah, and these are super cool. I love this packaging so much, how it has the, like, the green stripes and the little gargoyle candelabra there on the sides. And so these ornaments do glow in the dark. These were $39.99 and I will take them out and show you each one. So these will probably end up just being like Halloween display pieces because I do have a Haunted Mansion pop collection that I have out like all the time. These are super pretty. So each one has this little like satin ribbon to hang it from. So this one is the groundskeeper. He looks super spooked and he's just got his shovel and the lantern. And I love that they included the little dog. He's honestly my favorite part of the Haunted, or one of my favorite parts of the Haunted Mansion ride. I always feel so bad for him because he's literally just like skin and bones. You can see there his little like ribs poking out, but he is super cute. This one is super heavy. And then we have the stretching room portrait with the dynamite. We have the Haunted Mansion logo ornament. And I love the details here of the little sign. This is super cool. We have the Constance portrait. And so the coloring on all of these is like not um, the typical coloring because they do glow in the dark. So they are just covered in like glow in the dark paint. And then last but not least, we have Sally, the tightrope walker portrait, which is my absolute favorite. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. And you see there are the little flowers printed on her dress. So 
it, I will definitely insert a clip of them glowing in the dark because the glow is like insane. I literally just like had them sitting near the light and like put them into a kind of not lit area of a room and they started glowing already. So I'm super excited to see what it looks like when you actually stick them in front of the light <laughs> for an extended time and look at them in a like pitch black room. So we'll definitely be inserting a clip of that here. Next up is another pair of ears. So these are a pair of Nightmare Before Christmas Disney Parks ears. And I found these actually at my local Disney store and I wasn't going to get these ears. And then I took a look at the back and that is what really sold me. So the front just features Jack's little bat bow tie and it looks like the print of his suit. And then on the back has Oogie Boogie on one ear and Walk, Shock and Barrel on the other. So of course I had to pick these up and this is like a fake like kind of leather material. And then all along the sides here of the headband is little like bones and yeah these were $29.99 like all of the Disney Parks ears are and I am super excited about these and as if I needed another pair of ears but when I saw this detail on the back I just could not say no and the very last two items that I picked up for spooky season haul part two are the mickey and Minnie halloween 2020 plushes i picked these up at my local disney store um they are now at the time of year where these are 12.50 with any purchase so i went ahead and picked them up i thought they were super cute this year um i do have a mickey and a mini halloween plush um but i think they're from two different years so they don't really match so i really wanted to have at least a matching set um so mini here is super cute as a witch she has a little candy corn bow on her hat and then i love the little like halloween disney treats on her hat and her dress has sort of the same print with little halloween snacks all over it and she has an adorable orange cape and then little candy corn print stockings and her foot says Disney Store 2020. And she's kind of, she's not like a black and white mini. It's kind of like a brownish black and then like a tan color, which I think is super cute. And then Mickey is a super adorable jack-o'-lantern with a candy corn bow tie. And then he has an adorable little pumpkin hat. And again, he's like a brownish black and a, like a beige, like a tan color. And then he also has like candy corn striped pants and he has a little shirt on underneath here that also has little Disney Halloween snack print. And I believe you can get this pumpkin off of Mickey, but I am not going to try. And then he has little purple shoes that again say Disney Store 2020. So again, here's the two of them together and I am super duper excited about these and to have a matching set of Disney Store Halloween plushes. So yeah, that is all that I have today for Spooky Season Haul Part 2. Um, let me know down below what your favorite item from this haul was. Did you purchase any of these same Halloween items that I did? How are you guys decorating for Spooky Season and kind of getting in the spooky mood? I already have my decorations outside of my house. Um, I literally got so many cars driving by my house looking at me like I was insane because I did it literally. I think it was like September 18th and I was like, we are decorating. Um, but you know, just kind of needed that Spooky Season vibe a little bit early um due to everything going on this year so yeah super excited about all of that um so yeah let me know down below how you guys are celebrating uh, if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon as always i hope that you guys have a magical week and i will see you in the next one bye